Hello again, everybody. This is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements, part seven of our eight-part basic training for Photoshop Elements. In this session, I want to look at more ways to make a good picture great. We've got a picture of a fairly good-looking guy. Hey, that's me. Uh, but we can improve this picture, and there are a number of ways to improve it that are built right into the program. Now, a number of these are under the Enhance menu. You'll see options here for smoothing skin, open closed eyes, adjusting facial features. But all of those tools are incorporated together in a guided edit. So let's go to the guided edits once again in the top center of the program. And we want to go to special edits. And in the special edit category are a number of guided edits for making a perfect landscape, getting a perfect pet picture and for making a perfect portrait. So let's select perfect portrait. I'm going to zoom in on the picture a little bit using control plus. And you notice there's a big blue circle around my face. It identified the face right away in the picture. If there is more than one face in the picture, you'll see circles around each individual face and you can work on each face individually. Now our goal here is to make the guy look as good as possible. In some cases, you want to make somebody look even better. So you're working with a model, for instance. You don't care if it doesn't look exactly like him or her, so long as the picture looks terrific. But in this particular case, I just want to make this guy look much better than he looks. <laughs> um, let's smooth out his skin first. We'll get rid of some of the wrinkles. This is an automatic feature. If I click on smooth skin, it's going to automatically soften the skin a little bit. Looking good. We've gotten rid of some of the wrinkles there in the forehead. We can increase the contrast in the picture. That should make it a little bit sharper. If for some reason it shrunk, shrunk my picture down again. Let's control plus or command plus to blow up my picture. We could remove blemishes using the spot healing tool. We can whiten the teeth. If his eyes were closed, there's actually a tool in here for replacing closed eyes with open eyes. And the results can often be very good. Now there's a brighten eyes. If I select that tool, I can paint over the eyes just a little bit, drag across them to make them lighter and darken the eyebrows even more to sharpen the eyes even more. There is the option to add a glow effect. I don't like the glow effect. That's a little bit like Vaseline on the lens. I don't think it looks natural, but uh, it's there if you'd like it. And there's even an option here for slimming down the face. In other words, taking somebody's fatter face, making it into a skinnier face. I don't think that's necessary here. Now there's one set of tools I skipped over. Let's go into facial features. This is an entire toolkit unto itself. Let's click on that. And this is the facial features workspace. Let's zoom in on the picture once again using control plus. And you can see there are a number of cool tools here for adjusting individual facial features. We can make the smile bigger or smaller if we'd like. So let's make sure that the face is selected and that the circle is blue. There we go. And we should be able to make his smile bigger. That's a nice smile, huh? Or smaller. But let's give him a nice big smile. You can make the height of the smile larger. You can make his lips bigger. If I select eyes, I can again make his eyes larger. I can make them wider or taller. I can adjust his nose. For instance, if the nose looks a little wide to me, I can narrow that. Look how natural these changes look, huh? His face shape, likewise, I could uh, adjust the jawbone shape, the chin height, the overall width of the face. And then the one that most amazes me is face tilt, because this will actually turn that face in three dimensions. If I select angle, that's just going to tilt his head a little to the left or right. But if I select left or right, look at this, I can actually change the direction he's facing. That to me is amazing. Likewise, I can make him look up and down a little bit. We'll click OK to get out of this workspace and back into our regular workspace. And if you ever want to see the results of your work, all you've got to do is go up to the upper left of the workspace here and switch after only to before and after horizontal. And you can drag them over just a little bit so he's in the center of the picture. There's what we started with and there's what we ended with. Real nice improvements to the picture. They're fairly subtle, but above all, the results have been very natural also. So adjusting facial features, the perfect portrait guided edit, 
terrific tools in the program for making a good picture look great. And isn't that what we all want?